Hello all, welcome to today's stream. Uh, these streams have been very long, so we're gonna do a short one today. I'm just gonna do task one. And if it takes more than like an hour, I'm just gonna be left. Sorry about that, but can't keep doing this extremely long stream. I have Christmas stuff to do. All right, let's get cracking. I'm just going to focus now. No chatting, no nothing. Okay. So the elves uh, have a file and it's encrypted. And then it's on the mix, the, each number forward backward the file. A uh, number of position equal to the value of the number being moved. The list is circular, so moving number of one end of the list wraps back uh, around to the other end as if the ends were connected. For example, moving one in sequence, like one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the one moves one position forward. And then this file here is going to be extremely long, yeah. Is it? We got five thousand numbers. Encrypted file, an example. Ah. I gave the wrong names, but that's okay. Now let's get cracking. Read input. File path, IO, list of ints. Input equals uh, map. Map read. Uh, lines. Uh, read input day twenty print and CGTO exit day twenty T twenty dot HS time exit I gotta save this. Okay. Then the growth corner can be found by looking at the thousand, two thousand, and three thousand numbers after the value zero, wrapping under list as necessary. In the example above, the thousands number after zero is four, the thousand and three minus three, and the three thousand is two. Okay. Okay, then move them two minus two in a position like four, minus two moves to position backwards, wrapping around. Okay, so. We're just going to do modular arithmetic, I guess. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, let's just calculate it like that. Uh, so these are gonna be you're gonna do some modulus. Okay, and so new pause. I'm gonna take the int and the the value, the index and the value, and we're gonna return the new pause. New pause and int. Also the length of the list. L A and the uh, int and the v is equal to um, int plus v. Let me see how, how are negative numbers in Haskell. Uh, minus two mod. Yeah, so we go one. The so two mod three is two, uh, minus two mod three is one. Um, Okay, now let's uh, map this over the read input. Mm. Ask one. Okay, so this is gonna be equal to map. Uh, I'll tip with new pause link. Le length of le Print the list. But it's not going to work because, like, the, the new positions will affect the old positions. Okay, let's set first together the Auric Zip Okay, and then I'm gonna um, uh, 
so let's do your mix. Take a list of Ah, uh, but it might modify the positions of those that came before. Let's just brute force this. I don't know. I'm not in a good mood. Okay, and then I'm gonna have another that's uh, the list of uh, a list of transpositions. Let's go for um, and then trans poses or ugly. Okay. Let's go on prime. Let's go on prime. So if I have something here, I have the auric index and I have the value. Where cur in is equal to dot map. Uh, Auric trans Okay, this is going to be Okay, we have the current index, the value, and how much should the current index change. Okay, let's see here, a uh, new in equals, um, int plus v cur int plus v
And now let's check. Um, so all the ones that are map and we just map right okay uh, up the Now we're up D is equal to um E I is equal to So if the I is equal to new in no current Okay, let's see. The so one goes from one goes to so the if I uh, update I if I is uh, less than or equal to first of all if I is a But we're, let's check see if we're moving forwards or backwards. Let's just see up to is int. There's a loop here. Ah. Let's see. If new new int is greater than new int is greater than less than per int, and int is greater than or equal to new in and int is less than current so it's between there
we move it forward, then we do the other way, okay? If Yeah, we gotta get these conditions right. We'll figure that out. Let's just see what happens with one of them. Okay, zero stayed unchanged. Int is equal to So zero became one. One became two. But I want one to become minus one. Now let's see. Line mix. Uh, where? Okay, so we're gonna do. Correct int map is equal to I am dot from list and then we do um Invoke the swap function. Do I am dot asox? I do map swap. And then we do and I from this again. Let's uh, do the transposes and here in comment. Uh, okay, I am not that sucks. 
Clean it out from list. Taking the second. Okay, so two one minus three three minus two zero four. This is after the first one. And then two moves between minus three and three. Let's take two here. One minus three, two, three minus two. Now let's see if it works for the negative one okay so i think i should always do mod mod l name so one two three minus two zero minus three four Take the fourth one. We have a uh, one to three minus three two minus three. Let's do okay, one minus three two three minus two zero four. We have minus three moves between minus two and four. I went one too far, it seems. I think I need to do. Uh,
Ay. Let's import util. Trace show M. Let's do here or I comma V. Applying all of them at the same time, yes, exactly. So, first, uh, zero becomes one, and then uh, one becomes two. Okay, then it one becomes two. Let's 
let's look at that okay so up the end okay so if the current is less than the new end then then everything um then there is so and now we're looking at some current value Um, we only change those that are between the current index and the new index. Okay, let's um, right. So the other ones will not actually change. Let's see here to change case cur end less than new in is equal to and up to new in otherwise one to one let me see one to one new in current so instead of mapping over all the indices we're all only going to map over these Okay, actually, I don't want to do mod over the list. So then, so then at the end, we'll just kind of take the negative numbers and we'll just um, renormalize them, right? These are the ones we have to change. And now we're gonna say here that we're not gonna Okay, we cannot like map over partial. Okay, so this two chain doesn't actually matter.
Let's just not do anything. Okay, now we're gonna map the update over the map update transposes update index okay so let's see let's do this case car end new end Okay, so um, if new int, then else, which is not going to do anything in that case. Let me have two cases here: per and less than new int. And we have the case where uh, new end is larger than per end. So up the equals. If the current index is less than the new index, then um, then if index is bigger than uh, current, so first of all, let's just do opt in case in equals cur in equals new in this is a simple one a current because of the int is a uh, larger than cur in and int is less than or equal to new in um, then i want to bump it down by one Okay, now I've in this uh, so all the other ones the other ones they put right if I get to go zero one two like all the other ones like three will still be three right so this one becomes uh one Two, one. Let's see. One, two, minus three, three, minus two, zero, four. Times two, one. Let's see. Three, minus two, zero, four. Right. So. Otherwise, it just okay. So, current is. And it's new end, so then we do if end is bigger than new end and it is less than the current, we want to pump it up. So 
Uh, this is actually this case. Uh, this is after two, right? So two, one, yeah, and then one minus three, two, three minus two, zero, four. just works let me see here function of the Ah, but it goes minus two. One, two, three, minus two, minus three. Four. Minus one is off by one. One, two, three, minus two, minus three, zero, four. One, two, three, minus two, minus three, zero, four. What happens if we just do the whole thing? Okay, now we drop those all of Interesting. One, two, minus two. One, two, minus two, minus three.
Mm -hmm. So this is two is going to five, right? Uh, wait, take three. So one that's currently at number one. One is currently at number one. Moves to five. So zero, one, two, three, four. Ah, but it should move to four. Um, because it goes minus one, minus two, minus minus three. Let's see. One, two, four, minus three, zero, three, minus two. Okay, let's just do it the good old fashioned way. And you end a candy. 
equals cur end plus b it equals if new end can is larger than or equal to length of the list then you then new in can mod l else if new in can is less than zero then new in can mod L minus one for some reason else Hello, Bob Ross RTX. How are you doing? Take one. Okay, let's take two. Let's take three. One, two, three, minus two, minus three, zero, four. Let's take four. One, two, minus two, minus three, seven, four. We take uh, five. One, two, minus two, minus three, zero, three, four. One, two, minus two. Minus two moves between four and one. One, two, minus two, minus three. Zero three four. Five here. Minus two. What to go at the end?
Okay, then zero goes to one. And this will be the result. So one moves between zero and one. Yeah. Two moves between minus three and three. Yeah. Minus three moves between minus two and zero. Which is five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One zero one two three four five um I've never understood Haskell. I mean it's not that uh difficult, it's just a bit different. You just need to you need to know what you're looking at, I think. Minus three goes. Uh, it's at one. Minus three moves between minus two and zero. Maybe if I one index this whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so minus three was at one moves between two and minus three. Now minus three is at two, uh, and then two moves between minus three and three. Uh, and now it's saying minus three is at two, but minus three is actually at one. There's something wrong with these indexes here. Ratio
Ah, okay, guys, I'm doing here. All right, man. Let's try. Okay, one, two, minus three, and three. One, two, minus three, three. Minus two, zero, four. Because two, one, minus three, three. Minus two, zero, four. One, minus three, two, three. Minus two, zero, four. Now I should go. No, there's nothing wrong with that one. What about that? Anyway. Okay, so. It's 2 1. Two one three minus two, two. So it says one goes to one has gone to one. Two has gone to three. Three has gone to two. Yeah. So okay, three is at two. Yeah, yeah. And then it goes one two three minus two. Okay, so it's currently at two. So we go it's probably be because I'm doing this. This is all a lot easier to wrap around the list and such if it is just zero. Otherwise, the modulus isn't quite good. Okay, one, two, minus three. Now minus three. Started off at two and is now ending up at five. But minus three should go um minus one minus two minus three. Minus one, minus two, minus three. If new in can and zero, so it seems to go one more than it should. Then Okay, I'll just do it like this if the value is less than zero. One, two, three, minus two, minus three, zero, four. One, two, minus two, minus three. One, two, minus two, minus three. Zero three four. And then we can one two minus three. Zero three four minus two. Okay. And 
and then we get one two yeah and then the zero doesn't move and then we're looking at the four okay Okay, then if a new in and is larger than equal to link list, then else. So then we just add one, right? One two minus three four zero three minus two. Okay. We did the mix and then we have the like the final transpositions now let's see here um, this is transposes end okay and Final trans equal. Transposes. Transposes and uh, final trans. Okay. And um, now I'm interested in the position of zero. Let's see here. Okay, so now the position of zero. For x zero equals uh, find index. Or data dot list find index now type of find index is okay we actually want lm index here Okay, and we're gonna do just oric zero i equals. Okay, now uh, just final zero uh, index 
equals uh, transpose then now this is actually a final trans I am dot auric zero I So where did zero end up here? Zero, one, two. Uh, zero started off at six, and now six ends up at five. Why is it saying four? Zero. Zero, one, two, three. Okay, it turns up at four. Okay, then... Uh, is equal to um, final 0i plus 1000 language gt 21 1k 2k equals final 0 plus 2000 mod LLE mod mod LLE so this is here I've swapped the ones uh, Three K. Okay, uh, let me actually just do it the other way. So let me get the uh, nums map. Uh, okay. Um. So we're gonna do transposes end. Um. Transposes end. I am dot bang. Final zero i plus i. Uh, actually, all of this mod and and i. Then we do one two. Let's print the nums here. Six, two, and one. Uh, and it's the original one. The one that's at six, which is four. It's a one at two, which is minus three. And then it's a one at one, which is two. Okay, so I'm going to actually say here. Um, 
Lee, bang, bang. Four minus three and two. This is the, this is the sum of the nums. Three. Okay, now let's see how this works on the input. Trace show. Let me now as it do for the input. do a lot of efficiency but might actually be a problem. okay 5865 five. it's not the right answer man I'm doing something wrong okay we didn't get it in our first try there is something wrong with this all these ifs here but i set myself a time control today so i'm not going to do anything more uh, let me see if i'll finish this later but uh, yeah um let's see I mean, it, it did work on the, it worked on the, maybe this is supposed to be just bigger than. He said it was too low. Okay, we get the same. Okay, this one doesn't even work for the example. Of course, yeah, I already would check for when it's equal. Mm. There's something wrong with the checks. Uh, I don't know why, but I think this approach could work, right? Just do the... Just, like, keep updating the indexes, right? So don't be moving things around in an array. Uh, certainly not, like, you know, with a buffer or whatever. Just keep... Uh, 
just keep uh, updating them but you know i would would have thought that would work but this is very confusing this uh, sometimes we add one sometimes we decrease by one i'm not quite sure what that all is about I think the problem comes up when uh, the when it wraps around here. Um, Okay, I'm not gonna do more today. Uh, let me just leave it like this. It's this. Get add. Get add a twenty. You made a partial day twenty. Push. Okay, thank you for tuning in. Uh, Mm, yeah, I I'll, hope I'll get back to all these one day and make it work. I don't know, it's also like, I don't feel like this is super interesting. And I'm also, it's, I'm getting it wrong and this is it's just a lot of these specific cases that I don't like. There's not a beautiful solution here, I feel. Anyway, thank you for today and uh, hope to see you again uh, tomorrow. It's probably be the last day. Because, yeah, there's just a lot of Christmas stuff happening. Alright, thanks a lot.